Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I am Joe Beretta. If you're not familiar with Google, they're a little startup company started by Mark Zuckerberg and Justin Timberlake, who loves privacy and basic colors. And word on the cyber street is that they're planning on constructing a wireless network across both Africa and Asia. Using balloons. Making balloons cool again. Balloons were never not cool, as if they ever stopped. Yeah, both of those together make a succinct thought. The general idea behind these giant blimps is to create a Wi-Fi network from sub-Saharan Africa to Southeast Asia. This will ultimately connect around a billion people to the web, which means we could potentially get a billion more people to subscribe to SourceFed. A billion new people to YouTube, SourceFed, uh, your Vine, your Vine, Vine blog, my your vlog, YouTube channel, my your uh, Twitter, everything involving my, us. Oh, and 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 except for my Facebook. Yes. Stay away from my. Facebook. No, please, that, that's private. That's Facebook is reserved solely for people I haven't talked to in 15 years. So just so we're clear, that means a billion people, one seventh of the world's population, will be able to access the internet for the first time because of blimps and balloons, all created and financed and operated by a tiny company called Google. That's very impressive for them. Good job, Google. To make sure these bloated angels of wondrous technology don't just aimlessly wander the skies at night, Google is creating an ecosystem of budget-conscious smartphones that run Android on low-power microprocessors. And then each of these fat web dispensers will shoot their signals of cyber serenity to over hundreds of square kilometers. And it won't stop there. First off, Google is also considering bringing satellites... Satellites are space balloons! ...into the mix, and they're lobbyists... They have lobbyists! That's adorable! They're trying to get access across these countries to the same wavelengths that television broadcasts on, since those signals can penetrate houses and buildings and are just generally stronger than regular Wi-Fi. Google stated in a blog post that the technology was well suited to provide low-cost connectivity to rural communities with poor telecommunications infrastructure and for expanding coverage of wireless broadband in densely populated urban areas. They went on to say, Earth, consider yourself improved. Now, down below, tell us what website you would go to if you had internet for the first time and you can't say porn or YouTube. Also, hey, congratulations to you, Joe, and to me, Elliot, because we just passed 900,000 subscribers, which means next we are going to be doing the push for one million. We don't know what that's going to entail, but it's going to involve of getting 100,000 people to sign up for this website. After you're done divulging the information that was spurned by our question in the comment box down below, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, also subscribe to SourceFed Nerd. Because why not? That's Ellie Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. We like balloons.